guys, today's dinner of the day in Mexico. Ooh, scary. Actually, it's not really scary. It's really fun. Because everyone's coming here to celebrate it. Oh, so let me show you your own dinner. Okay, so this is the altar that we put up for Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead here in Mexico. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the altar. This is just a regular sofa table that I have all year in the house. But for Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead, um, I made it into an altar to celebrate my mom and Richard's dad who have both passed away. And so we make an altar um, for them. So it's a really big tradition here. And in Mexico, they believe that by putting this altar, your loved ones, their spirit will come and, and be with you. So on November the 1st, it's, it is the Dia de los Muertos for the children that have passed. And today is the second, and this is the day for the adult. So because today is November the 2nd, officially the altar gets lit and I open everything up tonight. So I'm just gonna show you what I've put um, on the altar. Now, there is a representation for everything here. So everything has symbolism or meaning. Um, all the colors, the water, the flowers, everything. Um, but what I've done is, well, these are marigolds and this is the traditional Day of the Dead flower here. So these, the, the scent of the marigolds, and also sometimes people break these apart. You can buy bags of the petals all broken up and people leave a trail. So the scent and the trail is supposed to guide your loved ones home. That's the meaning behind the marigolds. So we have a big vase of marigolds. And then I have this altar set up for two people. So that is my mom. So obviously we have a picture of her and that is Richard's dad and we have a picture of him. And then we have to put candles. So I have some really cute Day of the Dead candles. On this side, I have an orange one. And on this side, a blue one. And then I have a calavera or a skull with all the Day of the Dead decorations here in the middle. So I only light these candles. I've had the altar up for a couple of days, but I only light the candles tonight. And tonight I leave everything going all night long. And then we have the paper is called Papel Picado and it has different skeletal figures on it. This one actually says Dia de Muertos, so Day of the Dead. So for some people, I guess, you know, if it's not your culture or tradition, I know some people kind of think it's a little bit creepy, but I actually think it's amazing. And I made this altar with so much love um, because it's, you know, here in Mexico, November the 2nd every year, they celebrate the dead. You know, they celebrate um, the loved ones that have passed on and we put out things in memory of them, a few of their favorite things, and then, you know, the traditional things. So the papel picado is traditional. Every color has a different meaning. I'm not gonna go into all the different meanings. Um, sometimes, I usually like to have more pink and purple, but they, they didn't have any pink and purple left by the time I went to buy mine, so that was it. Underneath here, I have an example of what a full altar would look like. It's just a little paper cutout thing. That's just one altar. So that's just kind of sitting there at the bottom and there's a little sugar skull there as well and some of the pumpkins I had from Halloween. So these are the little sugar skulls and these, I, I think these are actually supposed to rep represent the amount of people waiting for their loved ones to come home to, but I don't actually do it specifically. I just put a few up here um, just to have it look pretty. So I've got one at the bottom, I've got one there, and then I've got another one on this side. So this table is actually quite skinny, so I don't have a ton of room to put things. Another traditional thing that goes on every altar is pan de muertos or the day of the dead bread. I have mine in plastic right now because I didn't want ants to get into it. But now because it's officially the day, I'll take it out of the plastic and leave it out here um, for them tonight. So there's one on this side too, so I put two. And then what else do we have here? I have some decorative, just little purple um, and black and orange. It just kind of is weaved throughout the table. 
this little container isn't necessarily on here for the altar. It's the container we keep our remote controls in. So I just have it there still. I have a picture here of Zacatecas because that's where my mom is from. So there's that. And then I have some Fritos, which I've just opened because those were my mom's favorite chips. My mom was a beer drinker, so I have a Corona here. And when she drank on occasion, she had uh, a cigarette. So I've put a cigarette out here for her as well. On this side is obviously more dedicated to Richard's dad and he was a coffee drinker. There's no coffee in the mug right now, but I just put the kettle on. So I'm gonna put a nice fresh cup of coffee in here for him. He was a smoker, so I put a cigarette. He liked peanuts, so I've got peanuts. And then I've got the movie Footloose here because that was his favorite movie. So that is it for the front of the, um, the altar. And that is just the stuff. That so yes, some people put full meals, whatever your loved one's favorite meal one, if it was spaghetti and meatballs or whatever, some people actually cook that entire meal and will put a plate for them at the altar, which I think is really nice, but I did not go that far. Now, because my altar is pretty much right, you know, in the middle of the main living area of our house and it's not against a wall, I tried to make the back of it look pretty too. So you'll have to excuse the mess because it's late at night and the kids have been, you know, obviously playing in here and stuff all day, but I'm going to show you the back of it. I didn't do too much to the back because, you know, the, the goal was to decorate the front, but just so that it didn't look bad from here. I put a little uh, bit of the papel picado kept going there. And then I have these little calavera or uh, the skeleton symbols for Day of the Dead that I got at a little craft store that I put back there. And then here I have another uh, little sugar skull. So that at least from the back, it looks kind of pretty too. So that is the altar that I put up um, to honor my mom and Richard's dad for the Day of the Dead here in Mexico. So my mom was Mexican and I'm um, really proud to carry on their tradition and have the kids bear witness to it and see today there was no school here in Mexico because this holiday is so big but here. Yesterday the kids had a big huge celebration at school where they saw altars like this but I mean enormous you know the work that goes into them and the decorations is just phenomenal and it's beautiful all the different colors that are all around town this time of year uh, for the Day of the Dead and each one of them went as a historic Mexican person who has passed away. Um, Benji went as Diego Rivera, who was a famous Mexican painter, and London went as Frida Kahlo, who was also a famous Mexican painter. So that was fun for them, and so this is the last night. We will have the altar all lit up tonight in hopes that our loved one's spirits will visit us, and if nothing else, just to show, you know, that we're celebrating the lives that, we, that, we, that they lived, sorry, um, and that we were happy to have them in our lives. And that is it. So, Feliz Dia de los Muertos, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoy your video and you like our look.